Hi, welcome to GoCo Pro UK. I'm Derek, and uh, if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll know that we um, show you this new digital screen making facility on machines that we've got, uh, made by Rizo. And uh, what I wanted to do today was a complete piece of artwork and really show you how it goes right through. Um, I've, to be honest, I'm, I've not printed any of these before. We're just setting it up. Um, I'm working at home because of this virus and we're just going to see how it all goes. And I want to explain a few little bits and pieces um, behind what it is that we're going to do. Let me just find the right piece of artwork. Sorry. Uh, shoot, see this is how rough and ready it is. So basically what we've got here is, uh, let me just take this photo. So I took a photo of my neighbour, she'll be absolutely mortified when I see what we're doing that she's going to be on video. So I took a photo of my neighbour and basically what we did, we dropped it into a little piece of software um, that converts it to dots and lines. And uh, let me just see where that was, this is all ones that will be coming soon, oh dear. There we go. So we've we created this, which is really just a little dots and lines. And the reason we do that is because the my screen, this digital screen maker with entry level version, doesn't sort out dots and lines. Um, so I've dropped this in, and I'm just going to basically fit to screen, and that's taken it down. This is two hundred and ten millimeters by three hundred millimeters. So it's dropped this in. To 210 and we've got an image here it's already set up and if I just go uh, oh, fit to it. send image it sends the image the little light flashes hopefully you can see that I know it was a wee bit overexposed it is darker here tonight normally we do it in the daylight but I just thought I'd run this one off for a bit of fun so this is dropped in and we just um, press this down and in here there's a thermal head that melts away the coating that's on these pre-made screens. Just wonder if I'm going to bash the wall. Uh, so this is this is exactly what we do. We just set them up. This is how easy it is. I want to show you just how easy it is and how good we can actually bring a quality bit of print out of this um, little my screen. Now I've not printed this before. I don't really know if it'll come out any good or not. Hopefully you can catch that. I'll just nip around here. Uh, yeah, you can see the face on the screen. So we'll just spin this round. Because as I say, this is our little home print studio. Uh, and then we'll just drop this into it. I've already got a piece of paper and a little board already kind of set up. This is set up like this. So let me just get this right. We set this up like this, and as I say, this is a, a warts and all video, so you see everything that goes on. And basically what I'm now going to do is I'm just going to line this up as best I can by looking through the screen and seeing where the mesh is. And if we go down a little bit and along a little bit. So there we are, we've kind of got that lined up. Uh, I'm, I've found this ink and we're going to, uh, we're going to slap it down, I'm not entirely sure, I think it's a water-based ink, but I'll be honest with you, I found it in the factory as I was dashing out to come home to set up this print studio and I'm not really sure where I got it. Uh, I think it was sent to me as a sample, I think it's a water-based, and it seems, I'll be honest with you, I'm, I've just opened up, it seems lovely. Uh, aqua Brighter, I'm not entirely sure. It could be Aqua Permacet Aqua. So we've, we've slapped that down. And we run this across the screen. Hopefully this is going to come up because this will be the first thing for you and for me. <laughs> well, I really am... Uh, quite impressed with that. So it's brought up a lovely Christine and I'm just going to well, I'm going to give it a little dry off. If it's a water based ink it should dry into this paper quite nicely. 
Um, what we'll do is I'll show you the at the same time when we're finished with our screen we just scrape off the excess ink this is something I always forget to show but this is as equally important to the speed at which we make our screen as to um, how quickly it is to tidy up. With traditional screens there's a lot of time and effort goes into uh, making these. So we've now got our material, we just take it off, we fold it up, that's my screen ready to go again, it's still got the double sided tape on it to do another one. We take it off, throw it into the bin and that's my screen, that's my clean up done. I've made my screen, I've printed my item, it could be 40 odd items, 50 items, I would just keep printing, but then I put it in the bin. This is going to be particularly special because it's going to be a one-off, never to be seen again, uh, piece of artwork. And we'll just lay it down here. I'm going to take a little bit of double-sided tape. So I'll just lay it in the middle here like this. So, and this is the same double sided tape that we actually use for our uh, items. Let's just drop this in the middle. Put that down there. I've actually got a frame here. wasn't sure if this would work out good. And if it did, I was going to stop this video halfway along. But because it's worked out pretty good, I'm just carrying on and making my one off print. Of Christine. So there you are, we've gone from um, computer to screen printed item within no time at all. So, so easy. I've also cleaned up my screen. I'm ready to go and sit and have a cup of tea. That is how good the GoCo Pro uh, digital screen making system is. And if you'd want to know more about it, go to our website or uh, give us an email on sales at gocopro.co.uk. Lovely for you to watch. Cheers.